How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're up here at RPM Motorsports today. Got a couple helpers here with me. We're going to drop the motor in the trailblazer real quick and then tomorrow I'm going to start bolting accessories to it and putting the harness in. But tonight the goal is just to get this set in the truck. <laughs> All right, so we have the motor mounts bolted in on the bottom side. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the back of the motor a little bit and put a piece of wood in between the oil pan and the subframe to help hold it up. And that's gonna do it for tonight. All right, so Trailblazer is up in the air and here's the goal while I have it up here at RPM. I wanna get the transmission installed, you know, with the converter and all. I have the wire harness here. I may or may not put that in while the truck is here. And I have a set of Cook's inch and seven eighths long tube headers that we're gonna install because it's easy when there's nothing in the truck. So. I'm going to grab some gaskets for this, get these laid out, and then we're going to put these in first. All right, so the next step is to prep our trans to go in. Basically what that includes is putting the torque converter in, taking the heat shield off the side, and I'm gonna cut the bell housing here because I don't need these tabs, just to make it a little narrower. And then I have a new park neutral safety switch to go on the side and then we can put it in. All right, so we have our, this is a Yank torque converter that's been restalled. I actually don't know what stall it is, but it is in the 4L80. And we have our conversion flex plate up here that came from Summit Racing. I believe it's an ATP. Everything measures good, so we can go ahead and put the trans in this thing. Well, but 
Okay, so now that the transmission is in here and we've got it sitting about where we want, I need to make a mount since we're switching to the 4L80 here. So what I'm gonna do first is see if I can space this down so that the rise on this doesn't have to be so tall. You can see it's a good amount of difference from where the stock one mounts. So I'm gonna go find some metal and start cutting stuff up. All right, we've got our mount spaced down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is put a stiff knee under the trans so I can pull this back out and clean up where I'm gonna be welding to it so that I can actually build this in the truck. I'll tack everything in place take the cross member down and then weld everything solid. All right, so now that we have the mount spaced down, we've got our plate that is gonna bolt to the mount. What I need to do is cut a piece of metal that'll go here, and then we're gonna triangulate it a little bit. So I'm gonna take some measurements for this, cut that plate, and then we'll tack that into place and then make our triangles. Okay, so we have our triangles made. So now what I have to do is tack these on and then we'll pull the cross member down and weld it fully. Okay, so I will eventually paint this, but I'm going to put it back in the truck like this for now so that I can get this thing back on the ground. All right, so now that the trans is installed, the engine's tight, I'm going to get this thing ready to go back to my house. And that's going to conclude this video. I just wanted to show you guys putting the motor in, getting the trans in, getting everything mounted. And like I said, now it's time for me to get to the house and really get to work. So I'm going to clean up around here get this thing on the trailer, head home. Don't forget guys, always be sure that you follow me on Instagram. I try to post up there daily. Been posting a lot of stuff about this build and stay tuned for more videos on the Trailblazer. Once I get it home, I'm gonna be doing the wiring harness and getting the accessories on it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.